If you're watching this, then chances are you've probably Googled something along the lines of how to get my child to listen or why doesn't my toddler listen? As parents, it can be extremely frustrating when our kids don't seem to be listening to us and it could seem like we have no other choice but to yell in order to get their attention. In this video, I'll be shedding some light on why your toddler or preschooler may not be listening and how to get them to listen without yelling or raising your voice. Before we jump into strategies, it's important to know what exactly is going on in your child's brain that is causing them not to listen. At this age, children are still developing their understanding of rules and instructions. They're also learning important life skills like sharing and taking turns and following rules. So when it seems like your child isn't listening, remember that they're still learning and growing. It's also important to understand that the auditory processing system doesn't finish developing until around 14 years of age. So even if a child can hear what you're saying, they may not be able to process it quickly enough to respond because they may not have the skills necessary to do so. Toddlers and young children are also easily distracted and they may not be paying attention to you when you're talking to them. This is especially true if they are playing with a toy or if they're in a noisy environment. Keeping these things in mind will help you to remember that despite what it may seem like, your young child is not blatantly ignoring you. They simply lack the cognitive ability to be fully attentive and process what you're saying. So knowing this, now we'll explore five evidence-based strategies to get your child to listen. The best way a toddler or preschooler learns is by seeing what to do. Model to your child what good listening looks like by actively listening to them. Get down on their level, make eye contact, and respond to what they're saying. This is a great tip to remember for those times where you're yelling something from the other room. We've all done it. Instead of yelling something like, we have to leave, go get your shoes, go up to them, get down on their level, and connect with them about what they're doing first. So this can look like, hey bud, wow, look at that tower you built. That's awesome, I love how tall you made it. Hey, we're gonna have to leave in five minutes, so you have two more minutes to finish up and then we have to go get shoes on. You want to be consistent, both in your daily routines and your actions. Consistency gives children a sense of security and helps them to understand expectations. Establish routines for daily activities, especially meal times, play time, and nap and bed times. Also, when it comes to setting boundaries and expectations, make sure you follow through. If you tell your child something like, if you throw sand at your brother again, we're gonna have to get out of the sandbox, and then your child grows sand again, then have them leave the sandbox immediately. I'm using this as an example from my own experience this morning, by the way. Being consistent and following through with what you say lets your child know that you're serious when you set a limit, which will make them more likely to listen, most of the time. Using visual aids whenever possible is a fantastic way to help your toddler or preschooler listen and follow directions. So consider using routine charts or cards for your children so they know what to do and when. Like I said, auditory processing capabilities aren't all there at this age, so having pictures to support what you're saying can be super helpful. The toddler brain craves control. Offering choices gives young children a sense of control and agency. So instead of telling them to do something, offer them two acceptable choices and let them decide. It can be very helpful to have the choices in your hand if possible, because again, then you have that visual component in there that allows them to see their options rather than just hearing them. When communicating with your child, try to use positive language. So for example, instead of saying, don't run, say, please walk. This simple shift in language can make a big difference. When you put the words no, don't, or stop at the beginning of a phrase, it turns into what's known as a negative statement. And these cause kids to have to do what's called double process or have to figure out what not to do and then what they should do instead. Now this may not sound too confusing to an adult brain, but little brains, aren't developed enough to do this, which basically means they don't hear the negative part of the phrase at all. So this can actually put the thing that you don't want them to do right in the center of their attention and cause them to 
do it more. A huge bonus tip for getting your child to listen is to connect with them on a daily basis. Building a strong connection with your child is key in having them feel respected and valued and getting them to listen. If you wanna know some simple ways to connect with your young child, then go ahead and check out this video right here. Click that like button before you go, share this video with someone who could use it, and be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more tips to love your life with littles. I'll see you next time. Oh,